Auntie Tom and Ben News United Kingdom. Here is our top stories today. A plane crash has left three people dead in Tokyo. A man has died after getting into difficulty in the Sea of Gowa near Swansea. And in traffic, and in traffic news, there is an accident at the A2 High Road Tullingham. The crash happened on the A73 Carlisle Road near Hareshaw Road in Newhouse at about 9 o'clock on Monday. The 54-year-old male driver of the car has since been released from hospital. Local media has said three people were killed as a light plane crashed in Japan, setting fire to several houses. The five-seated plane crashed at about two o'clock local time shortly after it had departed from Chofu Airport in Tokyo. Public broadcaster NH NHK has reported. Police have said a pipe bomb has been found in North Belfast. A security alert began after a suspicious object was discovered in Rosapenna Street on Monday morning. Well, this is weird. I know. A man has died after getting into difficulty in the Sea of Goa near Swansea. The man was airlifted to the city's Morriston Hospital, where a boy aged nine was also taken by ambulance following the incident at 15.40 on Tuesday. South Wales Police confirmed the man had died after being pulled from the water in the Three Cliffs Bay area. Traffic in London and there is an accident between Junction 27 for the M11 in Essex and Junction 28 for the A1023 Brook Street South Weald. To your weather for your part of the United Kingdom and it is sunny and the high of 17 degrees for all of this area. It is a mixed situation for the central part of England. There is cloud in the west, sunny for the central bit, and wet for Lincolnshire. It is sunny for all of this area. Sunny for Belfast and the high of 16, but Eliskian is showery and 13. Partly cloudy for the east coast of Scotland, but Inverness is the only place to get sunny. It is a similar situation for the upper north. It is cloudy for Lerick and wet and cloudy for Stornoway. Wow, this is the wettest summer that we've ever had. You can also subscribe to Amar Menhas, who runs Tom and Ben News New Zealand, and also subscribe to Tom and Ben News of America Takes Action, which is also run by a different person. In the meanwhile, you can visit our Facebook and Twitter pages listed on the right-hand side.